So, what are we working on today? Mercury 2000 Mountaineer, right? 2000. Ooh, Cali emission, low emission. What a joke, it's a V8. So, what have we done here? We've taken out all the bolts for the water pump, except for that one, which is being a pain. And I've taken out some, the remaining ones on the vertical, well, this plane of the timing cover. I still need to take out the four that are two there and two over there. And then, uh, then I'll be able to take things off water pump and timing cover. So I was looking at this earlier. This is the thermostat housing. So if you look down in there, you can't see it. Thermostat. Well, I was looking and I noticed, okay, there's a factory bolt there. And then there's this other bolt there. And that's not factory. And I was thinking, who put that there? How can you lose the bolt? That's bizarre. Well, what do we see down here in the valley? Hello. It's the missing bolt. See, this is why it's good to do your own work sometimes. This is... That's pretty sloppy. You can use a magnet, a little gopher tool to go in and get your missing bolt. But who knows? So, what do we have here? I'll show you. This is the original belt to the truck. Pretty aged. Um, so, we'll go back here. Here's our new Ding Dang Dao China water pump. Here's the pulley that goes on it. There's the missing slot for the hole. And every single one of these pulleys is junk. They gra they're very gravelly and they spin profusely, which tells me they're junk, unfortunately. Luckily, I have a parts truck the other side of the yard that we'll be using for that. You can't feel it or see it, but they're all gravelly bearings. So all three pulleys are garbage and will be swapped out accordingly. What else do we have here? We have gaskets here somewhere. They're not there. Get the box out of the way. Here we go. We have our new timing cover gasket. Wiper blades, spark plugs, thermostat, PCV, and the air filter, as well as the thermostat housing gasket. So, we have some work cut out ahead of us. We have some new seat bottoms, like this one here, which is going to be replaced with this one because it's in nice shape. Tiny little mark right there, but no big deal. And these two bottoms are for the front. Got to go to pull apart. Get a new headliner because this one is Junko. So that's where we stand. And once we get this running properly, next up we'll be making sure the alignment as well as suspension is safe to pass an inspection in another state. And I believe this thing will be ready to go.